Hello, in this video on how to set up Cobot on Revive Node, you will need to download the bot files and save them in a location where you can find them later. I put them on my desktop. Navigate to the Revive Node's control panel and select your server. Once you have selected your server, go to File Management and click Upload. Now navigate to the directory where you've just put the bot files and select the zip folder. Once you've selected the files and uploaded them, the bar will have gone green. Then click on File Manager, then right click on the Cobot files and click Decompress. Once you've decompressed the files, open config.yml. You will need to update your bot token. Go to your Discord developer portal and select your application. Then navigate to the bot tab. Near where it says token, click copy and go back to your configuration file and replace bot token here with your bot token. Once you have entered your bot token, you will also need your Cobot key. If you don't already have your Cobot license key, please go to cobot.dev forward slash support and open the support ticket with proof for your purchase. And you will receive a Cobot license key to use the bot. Once you've received your key, go back to the configuration file and replace the key, then click save. Now on the left hand side, click console, then start. This may take up to 30 seconds. As you can now see, the Cobot commands are now installing. This could take up to 30 seconds. The commands are now installed. I recommend you click kill and then start to start the disco bot back up. Cobot is now online, as you can see in the Discord. The default prefix is dash. You can also ping the bot to and type a command after, for example, at cobot space help. And now you can go through the configuration file again and configure the bot to your liking. Thanks for watching this video on how to set up Cobot on Pterodactyl Panel. You can view more Cobot guides on this channel.